Hello YouTube, my name is Brandon Red, and if you've never been to this channel before, this is Ramen Noodle Budgets, where I kind of show and make things that are on a cheap budget for pretty much anything at this point with this channel. Many people do not know that I'm quite a large Star Wars fan. I'm kind of like a new Star Wars fan, as to put it. I didn't actually watch any of the movies until around The Force Awakens came out, like a few months prior, because I wanted to go see Force Awakens with my friends. I tried getting into Star Wars when I was younger, but couldn't do it. I think the only one I saw in theaters was, um, Revenge of the Sith and I fell asleep in the theater. Also, sorry if this lighting is a little too harsh. I could turn the light off. Actually, that looks pretty decent. Okay, we, we're gonna go with the lights off for a little bit. But yeah, obviously, I have BD-1 here with me and the child from The Mandalorian. Um, these are both 3D printed. I never had a chance to make these videos. BD-1 is for a uh, Cal Kestis cosplay that I'm working on, which I'm hoping to get a whole bunch of videos up. I know I'll definitely have a video on the making of the electronics for my lightsaber hilt, which I will show off in this video for a little bit. But since the Clone Wars airs tomorrow, at least the first episode, which I believe is going to be the Bad Batch, I really wanted to kind of just do a cool Star Wars video to get everyone hyped up. So I ordered a Jedi costume. Now I ordered a lot of cosplays, um, definitely in my lifetime. I like to go with really fancy stuff though. Um, so, but this is not fancy, I guess. This one only cost me, I think about $40 off Amazon, but I've gotten really good reviews and I've seen a lot of people buy them. I was in Galaxy's Edge last week and I literally was going to buy a tunic from them. It was 70 bucks. I didn't get my cast member discount or anything for Disney. But um, they didn't look as nice as like ones I've seen. I didn't know if I really wanted to spend all that money and try and shove it in my suitcase. I did, however, buy Ben Solo's lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge, but it got shipped to someone else. So another house. So I'm still trying to get it back. I'm really hoping I can get it back by the end of the week so I can do a review on it. But that's that. Let's get right into this. Let's try and open this. I am going to turn the lights back on though because I feel like this is a little bit too dark and it's going to create weird, uh, like, like, uh, noise on the camera. So, wow. Inside our lovely Amazon bag, we have another lovely Amazon bag. And there is another bag where at least we can see our lovely Jedi tunic. I went with the off-white color, which I thought was going to be a lot more white, but it's more of a cream color, which I'm totally fine with because I plan on actually dyeing it in this video. But it looks a little food color that I actually thought it was going to be, so... Guys, if um, my camera focuses in and out, this is actually the broken lens. I just didn't want to use the lens that was so close or else it was going to cause problems. So something I'm surprised, I did not know the costume actually came with a set of pants. And they're not the worst. I mean, a lot of cosplay pants I usually get are absolutely horrendous, but these don't look that bad. They're obviously quite thin, but it's not just stretched. It actually does have a zipper and a simple button. So, and with the belt loop, which is actually pretty impressive. It does have a little bit of elastic in the waist, so we'll see how those actually fit. I ordered the medium size. A lot of the time I'm in between the small and medium, or almost medium, but obviously they don't carry that, so I had to go with the up size to see if it fit. The actual fabric itself, when it comes to the tunic pieces, feels like some sort of canvas. Okay, what's shocking to me here is online... Oh, I lied. Oh, actually, no. So, I'm shocked that this is actually sewn in. This is kind of that brown piece that goes under the under tunic. Uh, a lot of the ones I've seen online had it where it was a separate piece. This one is sort of a separate piece, but it's still sewn to the neckline, so you never lose it. I'll kind of, once I put it on, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Overall, it feels pretty nice. It doesn't look like I got too wrinkled in the back. I might have to throw this in the dryer with the steam setting just to get some of these wrinkles out before I actually try it on. This looks like the pieces that go over the entire body. I'm not really sure what I call it. I know that the belt piece that goes around the waist is called an obi because I've worked on Ray and Ray's costume before and I've made Kylo Ren's costume before. I've just never done a Jedi, so I don't know all the proper terminology yet, so don't totally attack me for all that. This is like the... Yeah, I think this is like the belt, this is like the OB, which looks actually about pretty perfect for my size. I'm wearing like five layers right now, so I'm going to take off at least one of those. There's the other cross the waist piece there at our belt. Now the belt is obviously a pleather material. You really, it's really rare to find leather when it comes to cosplay materials, unless you're going for some place like legit that sells leather, like White Sheep, where I get all my Captain Americas from. It's not that bad. Um, it's actually pretty nice. It's like a really thick vinyl. Um, what I'd honestly probably do if I was to work on this is add some top stitching onto some of these pieces here because they look a little bland and they're a little roughed up. The belt buckle piece is actually like a casted 
uh, metal, which actually is pretty nice, not gonna lie. And then it has this little, you know, it's supposed to be like a cell phone, oh, it's like a sunglasses holder, but they're way too small for sunglasses, maybe child size. And then it has a Velcro loop system in the back to try it on, or to put it on. So what we're gonna do next, um, I'm probably gonna throw all these pieces in the dryer on the steam setting just to get them a little less wrinkled, and then we're gonna try the entire thing on. So everything's out. Um, these are the pants. They fit pretty true size. I'm about a 32. Actually shocked that they have pockets and they feel pretty much like real pants. They're thin. Um, I mean, they're what I expected for cosplay pants. Didn't even expect these to actually come in. I am wearing my Captain America socks though. So yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go trying this all on over this sweater. I might have to actually take this off, but let's try on the rest of the outfit. All right, so here's that main under tunic piece with that weird collar I was talking about. So I'm gonna try and see how this goes on. Got that nice baggy feel. Um, the fabric is pretty nice. It's a little scratchy because it is kind of like a cheap muslin cloth. I really don't know what it actually is to be honest with you. For how everything goes together clasp wise, I think it it's just a tension fit. I think the belt holds everything together. Where is this neck piece? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I assume this kind of like crosses over, so yeah, this kind of like crosses over like that, if that makes sense. I'm actually going to move the camera just a little bit, so like that. So far it's pretty sure to fit, it's a little short arm wise, like I feel like it should be longer, but um, so far not so bad. Comes the parts that's gonna be extremely difficult to do, I guess on my own. These are kind of like the pieces that go across the body. I know these go like to the shoulders. I'm just not sure how far these are supposed to go down or if this is even even. So cross these and try and hold them there while I put the belt on. Same material just kind of has this, or the OB I should call it. I think that's technically what this is called. I guess that's what it is in the Ray community, I know that. actually a little tight on this belt. Like, I'm a big guy, but I'm not that big. It honestly probably does not help that I'm wearing this thick sweater. The funny thing is, if I wasn't wearing this, I'd just be showing straight up chest here. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm missing something. I'm gonna have to look at the photos. That probably looks whack as hell. This here. I tell because I don't. All I'm looking at is through the camera's really small viewfinder. But I'm still kind of confused on how much chest I'm really supposed to be showing here, or if this is supposed to be way tighter. Maybe it's supposed to be like there. That makes a little more sense. This kind of piece, I might have to put some Velcro or something down to get that to want to stay. Pleather belt. It's very similar to like Obi Wan's and um, the prequels. So we're gonna put that there. Yeah, the belt fits perfectly fine. It's just the weird piece underneath that doesn't fit. I still can't tell how whack this looks. I'm gonna have to go look in a mirror and see if I can get this right. So that is that me trying it on completely by myself. Honestly, for 40 bucks, I am pretty impressed. It just takes a little bit of finicking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my mirror Try and fix all this to make it look right, and then get the lightsaber and show off some cool shots of this thing. Alright, so it took me like 20 tries of putting this thing on and off to finally get it how I kind of think it looks right. Um, it definitely is really, really hard with one person. These kind of keep sliding over too because they're not tight enough. The issue is like, so this piece goes over this one, and this piece is always flopping around because it's just not sewn down. So what I'm going to do is, with a cream colored, like, or whatever matches this, I'm going to sew or top stitch this is like where I like it, so I don't have to worry about that. And then um, I took off the sweater underneath, so it made easier. The back is a complete mess because it's so tight back there to try and hold everything. No matter what though, how tight the OB is, this is always gonna try and flap over, so like I want it here. So what I'll probably do is like a hook and eye fixture, or I'll just have some Velcro like right here to hold that down. So um, here's my Calcastus lightsaber. Uh, it is a NeoPixel blade. It's actually, the blade itself is a old Force Effects lightsaber blade from a conversion I did forever ago. So, um, 
Yeah, it's definitely not finished. This is all kind of like a test stunt setup. Um, I'm using a Teensy board, a Teensy 3.2 with just the NeoPixel set up with the switch in the, there's like a 18650 battery in there. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm gonna have a whole rundown of me gutting this whole system I did and installing it with like a spark board or something, anything that's gonna be a lot better than what's currently in here. So um, yeah, so what's really awesome about it though is that it lights up, uh, I can do like, you know, blaster deflections and everything. It actually is running Profi OS. Um, and then you can actually change the blade colors by just pressing the second button. This is actually blue. I don't know why it's coming up like purple on the camera. Um, you know, it could be like fire effects like Kylo Ren. A lot of really cool stuff. So yeah, here's the Jedi costume. I'm gonna try and run this all the way back through so I can get back to the color I want. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like hyperspace blue. Yep, see, and then there goes that piece. So yeah, as you can see, for a $40 Jedi costume, this is actually pretty nice. Um, it's obviously not going to be something you'd get like from the Master Replicas or anything, which I don't even think, I think Museum Replicas did it, I don't think they make any of those anymore. Um, but overall, this is something I'd obviously wear to like a movie premiere, or if I was going to Galaxy's Edge. I know, I do know they do allow these in the park now, just not the robes to an extent, even though we were able to get away with a Palpatine robe when we bought one there. But um, yeah. So like I said, be on the lookout, I am going to try and do a lot more Star Wars content because it is kind of, we're still in that Star Wars season with the Clone Wars and everything. Um, I'd really like to do a full rundown of how I got this lightsaber and put in the new electronics that I hope to put in there. Um, and all of that good stuff, I might show off BD-1 and the rest. I know I want to do a video making the poncho for my Cal Kestis cosplay, because I know a lot of people are doing that costume now, and I feel like it'd be a really fun thing to show off for you guys. So, if you'd like to buy this exact tunic, the link is in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so if you do purchase it, I do get a little bit of commission. So it would be awesome if you guys could purchase it through that link. It would really help this channel out quite a bit. So, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification for more videos. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.